this is Katie Larson with the Alliance for the Great Lakes. Welcome to Homeschool, where we are learning why the Great Lakes are so great. The Great Lakes were formed 10,000 years ago, and most of the fish and other organisms that live in the Great Lakes have always called the Great Lakes their home. For thousands of years, Native Americans have lived along the shores of the Great Lakes and fished in their waters. For species like lake sturgeon, lake trout, walleye, yellow perch, and more. When Europeans came to the Great Lakes region hundreds of years ago, they also fished for these native species. Beginning in the 1800s, some non-native fish, plants, and other small creatures were brought to the Great Lakes, many accidentally. They were brought from their native ecosystem to a new ecosystem. Sometimes non-native species can't survive in the new environment, but sometimes they can. When they do, they can be harmful to native species and can disrupt the food web. We call these invasive species. Some examples are sea lamprey, alewife, zebra mussel, and Eurasian milfoil. I will draw part of the Great Lakes food web with five native species and two invasive species. The sea lamprey and alewives invaded the Great Lakes over a hundred years ago. Plankton, like diatoms and copepods, and tiny crustaceans, like the opossum shrimp, that the lake trout and other fish rely on for food were eaten by the alewife. Though lake trout sometimes eats the alewife, losing their food source is harmful for any animal. Sea lampreys also kill or injure lake trout and other fish. Unfortunately, no Great Lakes fish or birds eat the sea lamprey which helps them to survive. This week, I want you to learn more about the amazing native species that live in the Great Lakes and a few examples of how invasive species have affected the fantastic food web of plants and animals that call the Great Lakes their homes.